Hi, it's Marty Wessler in Hawaii. This short video is about my artwork and how I make art. However, it is really about creativity, how it seems to work through me as inspirations from different directions. I also think it works through all of us, but maybe in different ways. Rather than just show you images of my finished artworks like you might see in an art gallery or a show setting, I thought it might be more interesting to pull back the curtain on what it actually looks like in the process of evolving. My art making process is actually a messy business. My studio area itself can be messy, but also the process of creating is not as logical or direct as our logical minds like to imagine. What you are seeing here spans over a year into the past to the start of 2020. 2020 was a year in which many influences in my life, including a pandemic, produced a variety of creative expressions and on which I now stand going forward. I have been a successful professional artist over 20 years selling my representational landscape and seascape oil paintings in galleries in Hawaii. By the end of March of 2020, my art business had died due to the pandemic and lockdown of Hawaii to visitors. All of my art galleries had closed, some permanently. I had been yearning to create some art different from the paintings for the tourist industry. I set up a playroom loft in my studio and determined to create new art I had not yet imagined. I set some rules for myself. Number one. I would try not to think about what others would say or think. In fact, I told myself over and over that it was okay if nobody ever saw them. Number two, my only measure of success each session was whether I was playing and having fun. Much of what I created surprised me, although some of it looked predictable too. I abandoned most traditional art making tools and materials. Each session was an adventure as I let myself express whatever was occurring for me. Several themes emerged as weeks went by. A central theme was my reaction to the horrific effects of the COVID pandemic on people's lives and the mass deaths around the world. My expressions took form in small, spontaneous abstract paintings and collages of different images and materials. In May, my older brother died unexpectedly in Indiana. He had a virtual funeral and my family met virtually and over the phone. My artwork turned darker for a period, but after a few weeks of reflection on who he had been for me and gratitude for that, my mood and artwork began to lighten and I found new directions and brighter influences. By the time you are watching, all this creative work will be months in the past. I am now on to other things. But that is the point I want to make with you. Creativity is a now experience, not in the past, not in the future. It is now, and now, and now. I believe that each of us is a creator in our own ways, even if we don't make art. Creating is an ongoing process in our lives continually as we are moved by the influences that move through us in our pursuits and interests in life. Sometimes those little sparks of aha come from surprisingly unexpected places that nudge us in a new direction, even in the smallest adventures of the day. The value of my looking back at what I created in the past is that I can register the accomplishment of my past creative activities that have built the future I now live in. It is also an opportunity to connect the dots that got me here. It wakes me up to the opportunity of paying attention to now and where creativity might be taking me next in my art and in my life.